Hi, no Anthony Cummins here today. I'm Stacy Cunningham and I'm student number 13 in the Tori Ryu. Today I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite lessons and Anthony's upcoming book, The Ultimate Art of War. It probably is my favorite lesson and that's why I picked it. Uh, the reason I can have a favorite lesson before the book is out is because I have this. So I know it's going to be in the book in advance, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so the lesson I'm going to talk about is number 137, and it's called Banish Wishful Thinking. Here's the image that uh, Jay Kane made to go with this lesson, and it comes, this lesson comes right out of chapter 8 in The Art of War. So if you want to try to figure out what I'm going to talk about before I talk about it, Go ahead and uh, hit the pause button and do that. Okay, moving on. Have you ever planned for something and you knew there was something that could potentially ruin the whole thing, but you just went with it anyway and hoped for the best? Well, let me, let me give it a good example. Um, let's say you're going to plan a party. And it's like three weeks away and it's, you know, an outdoor party and it's summertime, maybe it's a barbecue, something like that. And, you know, it potentially could rain. You know that, you know, three weeks away, you can't tell what the weather's going to be, but potentially it could rain. But you're not going to worry about it. Let's say you're not going to worry about it. You're just going to go ahead with it. And the day comes and it rains. And what do you do? So you're either going to be scrambling around trying to figure out, okay, can, do, can they come in my house? Maybe it's at your house. They come in your house. Or if you're at a park, is there some sort of covering place at the park? Like you're either scrambling up, trying to figure out what to do last minute to make it so you still have the party. Or you're going to say, sorry, guys, um, what can we do this? We'll just have to do it next week. Sorry. And, um, yeah, um, Soon Tzu would not be happy about this. Would not be happy at all. Why? Well, uh, let's, let's see what he says. Um, I'm going to be using the Giles translation. Uh, I know most of us have the Sawyer translation, or maybe you have a different one that is totally okay. But uh, just, you know, try to find the equivalent lines in your version. But this is the one I'm going to read. All right, so. The Art of War teaches us to rely not on the likelihood of the enemy's not coming, but on our own readiness to receive him. Not on the chance of his not attacking, but rather on the fact that we have made our position unassailable. And so basically, you have to rely on being prepared, not that the enemy is going to fall through and not do something that would be good for them. Like, you can't build your strategy around hoping the enemy only does this and not that. If it's possible for them to do, you need to be prepared for it. You need to be ready for it. And you got to remember that the art of war, it, you know, it's all about, you know, calculations and comparisons. You have the five constant factors to look to, and you have the seven considerations, and you use that to figure out who's most likely going to win. And... You're always trying to find find ways to put yourself in a better position, whether it's, you know, better landscape or territory or, or um, you know, making use of good weather for your side and all that, those sort of things. And you're trying to manipulate things as best you can to put things in your favor. That's what the thing is, is when you're relying on hope like this, like the lesson is about, it's different than, you know, overlooking a possibility or, or what might happen. What you're doing is you recognize this th certain situation or scenario can happen and you're actively choosing to not do anything about it. You're just, you know, you're just hoping it's going to be okay. You're taking a chance. You're gambling and soon as he doesn't like that. He doesn't want you to gamble now when it comes to warfare. You know, the whole thing making all these comparisons and trying to manipulate things in your favor as you can, you know, getting information with your spies and all that good stuff, is you're trying to make things even more in your favor. You're supposed to be like this, you're supposed to make the odds as best in your favor as possible. It's not just good enough. You want it as best in your favor as possible. The word that Giles uses and Sawyer uses the same word he uses, you know, 
unassailable. So that your defense is invincible to their attack rather than hoping they just don't attack you. That's what you're going for. You're being prepared for what comes. And that's what this lesson is about. And that's why I think it's cool. And so, um, I had some fun putting this video together. And <laughs> you can probably tell that. Um, my first kind of video like this. So, it's probably not perfect. But anyway, I enjoyed it. And so, yeah. I hope you got something out of this, you learned something, or you at least had fun with me. <laughs> so, um, take care.